What's up Spar Homers? This is Aaron. In today's video, I'll show you how to set up the Emporia View Utility Connect in Home Assistant for whole home power monitoring. The Emporia View Utility Connect is an energy monitor that communicates with smart power meters using Zigbee protocol. This data is reported to the Emporia Cloud and then can be integrated with Home Assistant via their API to provide useful power usage information. So in order to set this up, your power meter needs to be a smart meter. The easiest way to find this out is to contact your energy provider to see if it is. Particularly, it needs to be an AMI smart meter. You also need to ensure that Zigbee Smart Energy Profile and Home Area Network are enabled on your meter. This is sometimes called provisioning your meter, and it's something that your energy provider can do remotely. Emporia has a list of energy providers in the US that this will work with, so there's no guarantee that it will work with a provider that's not on that list. To provision your meter, they're gonna to need to know your device ID or MAC address and your install code. Both of these can be found on the unit itself and also on the box that it comes in. My energy provider had a form on their website that they require you to fill out with this information. Once I submitted the information on the website, it said it would take up to five days before I'd start seeing data coming into my Emporia app. After five days, no data was showing up in the app, so I ended up having to contact my energy provider and kind of got the ball rolling. Within a day, they had it all set up and I was seeing data coming in to my app. Once they provision your meter, it's time to set up the app. Download and install the Emporia Energy app and then follow the instructions to create an account. Once done, you'll see a page asking you to choose the Emporia product that you're trying to set up. Choose the Emporia View Utility Connect and it'll ask you to follow the setup instructions that came with your view. Plug in the power adapter and wait for it to start up. Once the power light is green, use the app to connect it to your Wi-Fi network. The Wi-Fi light should turn green as well and now you should see data appear in the app. If data still isn't showing, you may need to contact your energy provider because they may not have even provisioned it. Okay, so assuming you've gotten this far, now it's time to integrate it in Home Assistant. To do this, we're gonna use a custom integration that I have linked in the description of this video. Head over to Hacks Home Assistant Community Store, click Integrations, and then click the three dots in the top right corner, and then click Custom Repositories. Paste the URL for the custom integration into the URL field, and then change the category to integration. Emporia View should now show up in the list of custom repositories. So click it, click install this repository, and then click install again. Once that's done, time to restart Home Assistant. After restarting, click configuration, integrations, and then click the add integration and type in Emporia. Select the Emporia View integration and then fill in the required account information. Make sure all three sensors are selected and then click Submit. The Emporia integration will add three sensors if you're just using the Utility Connect. First, there's a sensor that reports how much energy is used each minute. This entity's units are in watts. Next, there's a daily sensor that reports the kilowatt hours used each day. Finally, there's a monthly sensor that reports the kilowatt hours used each month. Next, you may want to add these to the energy profile in Home Assistant because that's probably why you bought this device. So what you're going to do is go to configuration and then click energy. We want to add one of these sensors to the electricity grid because these sensors are recording the total energy you're using from the grid. Click add consumption in the electricity grid area and then choose the sensor. I chose the daily sensor because I want the energy usage to be updated each day. Choose if you want to track the cost or not, and then click Save. Then click the Energy button on the navigation bar to view your energy usage. It may take a few hours before your data is displayed. That's it. You now have whole home energy monitoring in Home Assistant, and you didn't have to put any clamps on any wires or touch any electrical boxes. Anyway, that's pretty much it. I hope the Emporia View Utility Connect works for you. One of the beauties of this is that there's no error in calculation because it is the exact same data that the meter is sending to your energy provider. It's what you are paying for. 
If you're looking to monitor more than just overall energy usage, check out the EmporaView Energy Monitor. I'll leave links to both of these products in the description if you're interested. If you enjoyed this video, please consider liking it. And if you want to see more guides, reviews, and automation idea videos, please consider subscribing. Anyway, thanks for watching. We'll see you.